It's going to be a long weekend. No rest for Harvey Weinstein's lawyers. Arthur Idala opened up to PIX11 about one unanswered question in their defense strategy. Will Weinstein tell the jury his side of the story? What no. factors have weighed into whether or not Harvey's testifying? What is he considering? I don't, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question because I don't know what's going on in his head. This morning, the jury heard from Dr. Elizabeth Luftis. She's the author of the 1991 book, Witness for the Defense. The cognitive psychologist testified at the high-profile trials of O.J. Simpson and Ted Bundy, now adding expertise to the Weinstein case on memory. Hey, Dr. Loftus, do you think Weinstein still not guilty? I don't have any idea. Some of the allegations against Weinstein date back to the early 1990s. Dr. Loftus said it doesn't take a Ph.D. to know memory fades over time, explaining memories can be unreliable, distorted, and false memories can be experienced with a great deal of emotion. On cross-examination, Luftis was questioned about her own memory and her fee, $600 an hour to testify. Dr. Luftis, do you think the prosecutors were too hard on you? Uh, no, it was very polite. Weinstein's legal team hopes to wrap their case in the next week. Ms. Rotuno, I believe, is going to give a summation for the ages. Um, and that will convince this jury that the people have failed to prove their case beyond a reasonable What's doubt. Arthur Idal expects Monday to be a full day of testimony. We could hear from a Hollywood director as well as the friend of one of the accusers. Harvey Weinstein has denied any wrongdoing and pleaded not guilty to all the charges in this case. Tamsin and Corey.